Hallelujah. Good morning, everyone. Welcome. Welcome, prayer morning. Welcome. Welcome in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory be the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We bless your name. Good morning. This is morning prayer, conference, and deliverance. I welcome you in the name of Jesus. This is your host, Dr. Reverend Christine Sivi. Welcome you in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Jesus, we thank you. We glorify your name. We acknowledge your name. We give you the glory. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. It is a good morning that God has made. We will be rejoiced and be glad in it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's pray. Our Heavenly Father, you are so good. You are so great. We love you. We worship you this morning. We honor you. We welcome the morning. This is the day that the Lord has made. Father God, in the name of Jesus, anything that has been programmed in the morning, I command them to die. I cast out every dreams, any witchcraft dreams that, that your people have been dreaming the whole night. They don't know what to do. I command them to be destroyed in Jesus' name. I cancel every witchcraft dreams in the name of Jesus. Any good dreams from God that come to perform His work. Because our God is, a, is, is, is God who performs His word. In the name of Jesus, any word of the devil, anything that the enemy has programmed against this day, I crush them and I cancel them in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, as I thank you, Lord, this morning, I acknowledge your name. I give you the glory in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you. Jesus, I give you the glory. Jesus, I give you the honor. In Jesus' name, thank you. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Welcome again. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, welcome once again. This is uh, Reverend Dr. Christine Sig. Welcome you. Overcomers Deliverance and Healing Ministry. Prayer Conference and Deliverance. My title today, I'm going to talk to you that the Lord God Almighty will perform His word. God, when He says His word, He's going to perform His. God will never fail. Heaven and heart will pass, but His words will never pass. Therefore, child of God, God says He's going to perform His word. He will never fail. In the name of Jesus, the Bible says, in the book of Psalms 8, verse 3, the Bible says, In the day when I call out, you will answer me and make me bold with, with strength in my soul. So, God says, the time you call him, when you call him out, he will come and answer you and make you bold, encourage you. God will come to you and help you and deliver you from the hands of the enemy. The first time you raise up your mouth to open, God will come and answer you in the name of Jesus Christ. Our God is a God who answers by fire. So the day you call out, He will answer you. He will come. The Bible says, Psalms 38 verse, verse 3, In the day when I called out, you answer me and make me bold with strength in my soul. Maybe you have been tired thinking, worrying, saying, what can I do? But the moment you open the, the mouth, God will answer you. And He will give you strength. You may be tired. You may not have any strength. But Almighty God will visit you with His strength. And if we look at the book of Psalms, 60, 60, 60, Psalm 68, verse 35, the Bible says, Oh God, you are more wholesome than your whole places. The Lord of Israel is he who gives strength and power to his people. So the Lord is the one who gives you strength and power. God is the one who gives you strength. Like now you have no strength. You, are, you, you, don't, you, don't, you, you are so tired. 
you've been thinking, you've been worrying, you, you, have, you have no energy. What is going on? What is happening around you? You don't have strength, but our God Almighty, He will give you strength. He will give you strength. Maybe what you are facing, what you are facing today, this time, it makes it strengthens you. But God Almighty will give you strength in Jesus' name. In, in Isaiah 40, 40, in, in the book of Isaiah 40, verse 29, the Bible says, He gives power to the weak and to those who have no mighty. He increases strength. God gives you power when you are so weak, when you have no strength. He gives you power. He strengthens you. He lifts you up. The situation where you are right now, our God is strengthening His hands to hold you up. And our God will perform His word. What He has said it is true. It will never fail. Maybe you are going through some, some, some issues, some stuff that you, you don't have even strength, you don't have energy, you can't think again. But our God Almighty it is He who goes out and give you strength. Remember, He loves you in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, our God is great God. God, the Lord, the, the Lord is so good. Our God is so good that He hears us and He establishes His word. He performs His word. Let's look at the book of, 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 of Thessalonians 3, verse 3. But the Lord is faithful who establish you and guide you from the evil ones. The Lord is faithful. Who will establish you and guide you from the evil one? Anything evil planned against you, the Lord will protect you from that evil. Anything against you, the day the enemy has planned evil, the Lord will protect you and guide you in the name of Jesus. That's why if you follow my, 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 my videos since yesterday, as I said, as I've been talking about, our God is a consuming fire. He will go to the camp of the enemy and try them and burn them down. So our God, He will guide you and protect you in the evil day. In Psalms 91, that is your scripture you have to read every day. Psalms 91, it is very clear. He said, He who dwells in the, in, the, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the shield of God, in the house of God. So now, if you are a dwell in the house of God, if you hide yourself in the house of God, then God will protect you in evil ways. When evil comes, He will protect you. He will send His angels before you and catch enemy that is coming against you. God he will establish his word. When he, once he said that I am Jehovah God, I am the Lord God Almighty, that I will perform my words. So when God says, according to 2 Thessalonians 3, verse 3, the Bible says he will, he will guide you from the evil one. God will guide you. God will protect you from evil one. When evil is coming to you, God will protect you. The Lord is your shelter. You shall not want. He keeps you laid down in a Greek in a Greek pastor. So our God is a great God. His word will never fail. Heaven and heart will pass, but his word will never pass. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jehovah. God Almighty, he is a wonderful God. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Uh, Psalms 34. The Bible says. Many are the affection. Of the righteous. But the Lord deliver him. Out of him. Or he guides all of his bonds. Not one of them is broken. Many are affected. Many are affection. Many are being attacked. But the Lord delivered them all. The Lord God Almighty. That's why we are alive. You, if you see what you are going through every day, you might be thank God and praise Him. And you are not special than those people who are getting accident and dying. Those people are in the hospital. Those people are suffering. Those people are in prison. Those people are suffering in another way. You are not special. But by the glory of God, by the grace of God, by the mass of God, you are alive and you are free. We remember those even who are in prison right now, who are going through very difficult time. 
but our God, let them fix, fix your mind, fix your eyes to Almighty God. He knows you and He sees where what you are going through. Just jar, jar of God, ask Him to help you and to protect you and touch your life in Jesus' name. Even if you have no money in your pocket, remember our God is a provider. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord is, is, is able to meet your needs according to His riches and glory. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now, when we are going to look for the scripture from the book of, uh, 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 of uh, Philippians, Philippians, the book of Philippians uh, 4 verse 9, 19, the book of Philippians 4 19, the Bible says that the Lord Almighty will meet your needs according to your, His riches and glory. So when you are going through, you don't have money in your pocket, you don't have anything in you, you may be facing very difficult life, but the Lord will supply your needs will meet your needs, not all in money, you will meet your needs, what your desire you have in your heart, what you need from God today, that God, your God will meet your needs, will meet your needs, will meet your, your needs today in the name of Jesus. Either in your country this evening, here it is morning, 5, 5 p.m., 5 a.m., but wherever you are, the situation that you are facing, God Almighty will meet your needs according to His riches. Our God is full of riches, is full of materials, is full of finances, is full of every good things that you may need. That's why it says He will meet you with you. With, 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 our God will meet your needs according to His riches and glory. Our God is so rich with everything you may need. So God, our God, will deliver you. When you open your mouth, to, to pray, He will come to you and speak to you and help you in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, um, we are going to confess the book of Jeremiah 12. Jeremiah 12, the Bible says that then says the Lord unto me, Thou hast well seen, for I will hasten my words to perform it. So the Lord will perform his word according his word according to what he has said remember the bible says in the beginning was the word and the word was with god and god himself was the word so god as we talk right now the god himself is the word and when he says so he will perform it he will perform his word and god always watches his word when the word comes out of the mouth of god it will do what God has said. Therefore, as he said that he will perform his word, yes, it is true. Our God will perform his word. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you. Jesus, I bless your name. I give you all the glory. I give you all the honor. Loving Father, I thank you this morning. Let's go to prayer. De now declare this loud and clear. You declare these prayers. We are going to pray. You have to stop the works of the devil that is working against you. You will send the word of God and God will perform, will perform it. You will pray because right now the enemy has listed names in his list. That, that is, is one, who is going to die, who is going to have troubles. He has programmed some program over your life, over your children, over your sponsors, over your household, everything. So, where your name has been blessed by the devil, you see, the devil has a wrist. The devil has a record that he has programmed to this year. When you will be 20, what will happen to you? When you will be 50, what will happen to you? When, when a child is born, the devil has wrist as programming some, some things that will happen to this child. Some, some people, the devil will program you, finish your university, have all the degrees, but you will never get a job. Some, the devil program that you will get a job, but you will never have any money. Some, you, the, 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 he will program that he has, you will get money, everything, but you will never enjoy that money. Some, he has programmed that you will go to the mall or to, to the store, wherever you are going. When the police are chasing criminals, they will shoot you and you die there. Some, they have been programmed on the road accident. So your name has been placed to something that will be... 
what will happen to you. Therefore, you have to pray this prayer to remove your name from the wrist, especially this month of October, as we, bring, we, we, we begin the new day, the new month. So you say anything programmed in this month, I command them to die. I cancel everything that has been programmed in this month. In the name of Jesus, in the month of October, any evil plans, remember, the Lord will deliver you from evil. Therefore, you have to pray like this. Anything, any evil planned in this month of October, I cancel them in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, you say, there will be no tragedy. There will be no cry. There will be no uh, tears in my eyes. Anything that has been programmed into you, you the month of October, I command them to die. I cancel every evil report. I cancel anything, any sickness, anything that has been programmed in this month of October. In the name of Jesus. Next week we are going to pray, pray and fasting for the whole week for to, to pray for the month of October. This month, this the, 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 the four months we call the month of Ember month. They are very bad months. This month starts when you see a lot of accident, when you see the devil is is looking for blood to put the, 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 his on his, his, his bank. He's looking for, for blood. So, we will pray until the end of the year, and then we will start a new year as afresh again. So, you will continue praying. That's why the Bible says, pray without ceasing. Pray. Paul was praying day and night. Jesus was praying day and night. So when you join us to, for prayer, I promise that we will be praying morning glory. That is commanding the morning. And, uh, and we will be 5 a.m. every day for five days from Monday to Thursday. From Monday to Friday morning. So, and, and Saturday, Sunday, we don't have prayers. Uh, you go to your church, you go to do whatever you want to do. And then morning you come back. Morning 5 a.m. And, and Monday evening, uh, three, uh, uh, 9, uh, 9 p.m., you will come and join me in prayers. We want to pray and we will pray for your family. If you need any prayers, you want, us to, you want me to pray with you, to stand with you, two are better than one. So you can call my number. My number is 647-608-5207. Child of God, let's, let's call me and I will pray with you and stand with you in the name of Jesus. Right now, as we are going to confess the prayers, you pray like this. I cancel my name, my family, and my ministry from the death register with the fire of God in the name of Jesus. You cancel, you cancel, you cancel your name and your family and your ministry. You cancel your name, your ministry means a place of work. Anything, where, where you are, anything you are doing, your business, you cancel your name from the death of register. You anything that has been registered for you in your business that your business is going to fail. You are going to be fired. You are something is going to happen to your job. You cancel and you remove your name from that wrist in the name of Jesus Christ. Where they have listed the evil wrist, where they have listed the bad things, your name will not appear to you. That's why you go, you need to pray in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I cancel my name. And, the, and my family, and my ministry, and my career, my, my, my work, my, my business, from the dead register, with the fire of God, in the name of Jesus. You use fire, you pray, continue praying, pray, pray, in the name of Jesus. I cancel my name, my family, and my ministry, from the dead register, with the fire of God, in the name of Jesus. I cancel anything speaking against me, in, 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 with my family. In, the, in my job, in the name of Jesus, I cancel them by fire. You cancel them by fire, by thunder, by fire. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every weapon of destruction fashioned against me be destroyed by the fire of God. In the name of Jesus. Any destruction, anything fashioned against you to distract you, to bring destruction in your family, in your life, you cancel it in the name of Jesus. You command every destruction by the power, by the authority of God, you cancel them and render them powerless in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ, you pray like this. Every weapon of destruction fashioned against me, every fashion of destruction, fashion, destruction is bad. They, they, when they strike, they, they strike you, you lose your control, you cannot think again. 
destruction is so powerful that it will make you even to lose on the road. If while you are driving, that's how it happens and you find yourself into accident without your knowledge. Destruction is a very bad thing that will happen to, 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 to human being. Therefore, anything that distracts you, let them be cancelled and rendered powerless by fire in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, every, every entrance to my protection be melted by the fire of God in Jesus' name. And let every entrance that would protect, that would take out, that would, every entrance of your, of, 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 of your, pro, your protection, every entrance to my protection. And you say to my protection. You are praying to yourself. So you can put any word you want to put there. You can pray like this. Every entrance to my protection be melted. Be melted by, by the fire of God in Jesus' name. Melt every entrance. Anything that will hinder you from protection. Anything that will stand against you that the protection of God cannot protect you. Let them melt away by fire. Melt them dry them up let them burn to ashes because now you know if something is going to happen to you now if there is no protection the your umbrella has been removed the cover has been taken away from you so anything can come to you you know the umbrella when the rain comes it protects you from raining on you or the roof now somebody comes to take away the roof what does that person mean he wants to destroy you so any power that wants to be, to remove to, to remove your protection, let them melt away by fire. Let them be destroyed in the name of Jesus. I you pray, I pray divine protection. I the divine of God. Let the divine protection protect me and my children and my family in Jesus' name. Wherever your children are, let the divine God Almighty protect you in the name of Jesus. Render powerless anything that will remove your, your protection. Let them die in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus Christ, oh God, my Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, you pray every gathering against me be scattered. Every evil gathering, every evil gathering, there is wicked people, there is wicked power, there is powers of witchcraft. They gather together for evil. They gather together to discuss you, discuss your name. They gather together any evil gathering against you. Let them be destroyed by the power in the blood of Jesus. Let them be scattered, scattered that the wicked evil gathering. They are speaking against you. They are talking bad stuff against you. They are speaking, they are putting evil and evil against your life. Let them be scattered in the name of Jesus. You have to stop them. This is spiritual warfare and it is a spirit. When they are talking evil against you, it will affect you. It will affect you. They will chant. They only speak chant and speak bad. And they are watching. They are a false witness. They are saying they will see you, how you are going to succeed. They are thinking how you are, they are going to bring you down. Let their groups to be scattered. Let their seeds to turn up and down in the name of Jesus. God has promised you that he will protect you and he will perform his word. Therefore, the blessings of God does not add any sorrow. As God says, he will perform his work. He will never fail. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, I bless your name. Lord, I thank you. Loving Father, you are so good and so great. I love you, Jesus. In the name of Jesus. When you pray those spiritual warfare like that, the Bible says that God will perform his word. And the words are very powerful. You use the word, the same thing that the witchcraft are using. Witchcraft, they don't take a gun to shoot you. They use the words and speak and chant, and then it affects you. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. You pray like this. I receive power from on high, and I paralyze all the powers of darkness that are dividing my blessings in Jesus' name. You pray that I receive power from high. You receive power of Holy Ghost. Power of God. You receive power. You say, I receive power from on high and I paralyze. You receive power from heaven to paralyze anything that is diverting your blessings. Anything that is stealing your blessings. Anything that is holding your blessings. Anything that is holding you. Let the power from the heaven 
from the throne fall upon you and destroy anything that is diverting your blessings against your life in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus, any storm, any power standing against you, let them be paralyzed in Jesus' name. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, you have to speak the word and God will establish, God will perform it. God will perform the, your word of your mouth. That is what he has promised us. So you have to refuse and stop enemy that is taking your blessings. Anything that is stealing your money. That is your, your bucket is whole. It is Your mouth, your word is going to stop them. Those spiritual thieves who comes to steal from you, who does not want you to be happy to enjoy, let the Holy Ghost the fire paralyze them. In the name of Jesus Christ. They are diverting your blessings to go and give to their people and you, you, you miss the blessings. When you are listed to get the good things, the, the, the enemy changes and put your name in the evil wrist. So you missed something. It happened. It was happening to me. When I'm almost to get something, something will happen and take it and you miss. A, a lady was crying the other day that she was, get, get, she was going to get, she was almost getting the contract from the government. Then when she has done everything that she is supposed to get the contract, the contract was cancelled the last day, the last minute. And I know um, one person in our ministry, this person got a contract, a big, 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 big contract. And, and now that contract, he gave testimony, he was so happy about the contract, but he made a mistake. We were doing Thanksgiving and... Uh, and, and, and you know, when God has blessed you, you have to give your tithes and offering faithfully. That is not your money. God has blessed you with a job. You have to give your tithes and offering. That's how God will protect your work. That's, why, that's how God will pro protect you. That's why this one, if you cannot give your tithes and offering, and, and you know you, you, that one, God will, will, really, will, not, will not look at you. Because the Bible says that he will rebuke the devourer. There's the devourer, there's evil, there's evil powers, there's witchcraft powers that are programmed against you to destroy your life and your thing, your stuff. So now this person, he didn't give his tithes, he didn't give his offering, and he was very happy that he got this big, big, big contract. And now he decided to go away. He decided even not to come to prayer anymore because he's rich, he got millions of dollars. So he went away. After a few days, the, after like one week, that contract was cancelled because there was an open. Now, I don't want you to go through that. When you, get, when you hear this prayer and God has done you something, contact me with seal, for the seal. We give God thanks and give God thanks and, and, and you give your tithes and offering because we pray for you and God has answered you through our ministry. Through, not your pastor, through our ministry, through my voice. Now God has blessed you. You go and celebrate yourself. That is a liar. That is a lie. So what you do, if God has blessed you, you call me for a celebration. We seal the prayer and we speak the word over you so that God can protect you whatever he has, he has blessed you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. You say, I will not go round in circles again. I will not go round in circles again. You've been going round circles, circles, here and years, here and years. You are in the same spot. You never go here and here. You never go anywhere. You are not doing anything. You have been in this country for years, but you have nothing. You have not got even papers. People come two years, three years, they have already got their papers. But with you, it is a, it is a pronunciation. There was a news here in Canada. There was a woman who is 99 years. She has never got her citizenship. She's, she doesn't have any paper. And she came here a long, 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 long time ago. That is a circle, circle. That is a program of circle. Now, this woman, even if she gets the, the citizenship at the age of 99, what is she going to do with it? The time she was supposed to get, she was denied. So she lost all the benefits of Canada. Hallelujah. Pressed be the name of Jesus. So those circle, uh, those, those, those going circle, you are not the candidate. You refuse to go circle. Something which takes you uh, one day, two days, it takes you months. Procrastination. 
you always postpone, postpone, postpone until you don't do the thing you are supposed to do. That is a circle. You turn to square one all the time. There are some people who call me for prayer. I pray, I, I pray for them and I give them instruction. When they get their miracle, they disappear. They don't call me again. They go and, and, and disappear. When they are turned to square one again is when they call me. That is too bad. You don't need that. We, you, you don't need that. You refuse that and you stand firm. You use your word. I would not be going round to square one again in Jesus' name. When God has blessed you, he doesn't add any solo. He blesses you and you will be blessed indeed. In the name of Jesus. You pray, you pray like this. You say, I reject every backward channel in my life in Jesus' name. You have to reject any backward channel. You have to go back forward. Like when you had the dreams that you went to back to your village, you went back to school, you went back to the whole place where you used to work, you are a slave. You refuse it. You said, I am refusing. I refuse. I reject every backward channel in the name of Jesus. You pray. You pray like this. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. You pray. I, I paralyze every strong man attached to any area of my life in the name of Jesus. I, you paralyze every strong man attached to any area of your life in the name of Jesus. Paralyze them. Paralyze them. I paralyze you, every strong man standing against me, standing against my life, standing against my work, standing against my ministry. I paralyze you. I stand against you. You cannot stand, you strong man. Hear the word of God. I am here to chain you. I am chaining you, the chain that cannot be, be cancelled in the name of Jesus. Every power from the pit of hell that has been programmed against my life, I chain you now and I command you to be destroyed in Jesus' name. I refuse every power from the grave, from the bottomless of the pit, from wherever they are, from the sources of wherever the enemy is using, I refuse them, I cancel them in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, my God, my Savior. Father, I commit these prayers into your hand, into your throne. I pray, O oh God, my Father, in the name of Jesus, anything programmed into the life of anyone, I destroy them in the name of Jesus. You shall succeed, you shall prosper, you shall go and 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 be happy anything fighting you i destroy them in jesus name in the mighty name of jesus i praise your name i praise god for your life and I, I i pray that god will bless you god will keep you in the name of jesus this morning as you are joining me in prayer i pray that almighty god let him meet your needs according to his riches and glory in the name of jesus let's pray together and thank god together speak the word give god thanks give god thanks and and wash him give him and say thank you thank you for this day thank you for the evening thank you for the morning thank you for the night wherever you are in the world thank god and give him the glory in the name of jesus remember to program good things in the month speak to the to the month you the month of Godawa. hear the word of god anything programmed against me and my family my children i cancel them it will not function i destroy them in the name of jesus i bless the blessings of god in this month in jesus name you command no accident no tragedy no dead no crying in the name of jesus no divorce no suicide in my family in the name of jesus i cancel them no famine no destruction in the name of jesus christ in the mighty name of jesus anything will make me to cry i cancel them anything bringing sorrow in my life i destroy them i pray for my children i pray for my teenager i pray for my youth i pray for my children in the name of jesus christ any sickness any diseases that would affect my children or my family wherever it is I counsel them and lend them. I pray let the divine protection of God fall upon my family in Jesus' name. You pray like that. You pray, I plead the blood of Jesus over my family. I plead the blood of Jesus in the month of October. In the name of Jesus, you the month of October, hear the word of God. I bleed the blood of Jesus. No power of darkness will prevail in the name of Jesus. And then you end up praying, you end up praying Psalms 91. You read loud. And you read round to the devil, you say the devil, listen to the devil, hear the word of God. This is what the book the, 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 the Bible says. The Bible says, He that dwelleth 
in the sacred place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Shall abide. I am abiding in the shadow of Almighty. The Bible says, I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in, in, in Him would I trust. The Lord in Him that you trust. You trust the Lord. That's why you command the month of October. That's why you stop any evil planned against you. That's why the Bible says God will protect you from evil because of his word in Psalms 91. The Bible says, Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowl and from the noise best dress. He shall cover thee with his feathers under and under his wings shall thou trust his truth shall be the shelter and the buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid, for thou terror by night, nor for the arrow that flight by day, nor for the pestilence that walked in darkness, nor for the destruction that walked that west at noonday. A thousand shall fall at the side, and ten thousand at the right hand. But it shall not come near thee. Only with thy eyes thou sh shalt thou be whole and see the reward of the wicked. Because thou hast made the Lord, which is my revenge, even the Most High, thy habitation. There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any pledge come neither the dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to give thee in all the ways that shall bear thee up in their hands. Let thou dash thy feet against a stone. Thou shalt tramp upon the lion and other, the young lion and the dragon, shalt thou trumpet under feet, because he had set his love upon me. Therefore will I deliver him. I will set him, I will set him on high, because he had known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in the trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. So you finish with the Psalms 91. The protection is yours. Whatever the, day, the enemy is planning during the day, during the night, during the noonday, the devil will be wasted in the name of Jesus. You remember the Bible says, very clear here in the verse 6 it says nor for the pestilence that walked in in darkness nor for the destruction that west at noontime there is powers called west westers they come to waste your time they come to waste you they waste your ears they waste your 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 time those powers the bible has said it will not come to you it will be lender powers the Holy Spirit will shift away. The Holy Spirit will send them away, will chase them away. In the name of Jesus. People of God, I have to stop here. And I, I pray that God Almighty will bless you. We we'll meet 9 o'clock tonight, 9 p.m. 9 p.m. we'll meet again. God bless you so much. Good morning. Good morning to everyone. Have a good morning. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you very much. God bless you. Remember to call me or visit our website www.overcomersdhministriesbrocksport.com or .ca. If you click .com doesn't come, click .a .ca. In the name of Jesus, remember to call to 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 email me. Our email address is overcomersdhm at gmail.com or you can call me direct to my cell phone 647 647 608 5207 and God bless you have a good morning in Jesus name bye 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 hello I love you bye Hello. Thank you, Jesus.